All right, welcome back to the Josh and Andy Do Redneck Things channel. Uh, today we are going to make a grate for my culvert. If you saw from the last video, uh, what I thought was two basketballs turned out to be eight that uh, the kids had left outside and then the rain washed them in there. Uh, they've promised they're not going to do that again and I do not believe them so I'm going to come up with something to block the grate, still let the water flow. Andy's made one before and he wants to play with his welder again. You may recognize him from Josh and Andy move a hydro hoist lift from Missouri to Tennessee. We'll mm -hmm. do a, a follow-up video on that maybe in a, another week or two. But stay tuned, see how we uh, fumble our way through this one. All right, so we're starting by getting a bend. Um, we're just doing it by hand because we don't have any fancy... Uh, no fancy tools. Yeah. Happen to have a welder, not a welder. We just happen to have one. Used it like three or four times. So Andy's gonna use his hands and feet to get us close to a 16 inch diameter circle here. And we are using his concrete and his muscles. I don't have many of those either. I'm not real good at using them. Alright, so he's heating the metal now, trying to help it hold its shape here a little bit. We've got our 16 inch diameter bent, a few clamps holding in place. Alright, so now we've bent the rebar, we've uh, heated it a little bit so that hopefully it'll hold its shape better and won't just spring back whenever uh, whenever we cut it. So now we're gonna cut it between the two clamps here, hopefully uh, cut it relatively close. This is not precision work. So uh, we'll just cut this sucker and hopefully it won't spring, spring apart and then we'll try to weld it together. So after just a little over an hour, we have our great cover. Put a stake on it so I can just drive it into the ground. If later on I decided to build a concrete thing around it, that'll just hold it in place. But for now, that should keep any and all basketballs out of the culvert. <laughs> Special thanks to Andy and his welder. <laughs> we couldn't have done it without him. And his 3 8 inch rebar and spike. <laughs> 